evening viewers once again we are so pleased to join you here on cbc tv8 this is the church of a nazarene family forum and uh, we are extremely glad that you have been blessed by these presentations and as we always say we are seeking to enrich the lives of family across barbados and even beyond we are conscious I like to repeat this because you understand our motivation. We are conscious that the family being the core of society, the core institution, one of them, the, some of the ills that we are seeing in our society today, we believe um, the problems originate in the family, many of the problems. And therefore, we want to not to make cosmetic changes. We believe that if we can address some of the root causes of some of these ills in the society from a family perspective, then we can bring about transformation, meaningful transformation with the help of God and indeed the cooperation of families. So that's what we are all about in these programs. Today, we are focusing on a specific area Music and the family, music and its impact on the family. I trust that you would call a friend, members of the family perhaps, and uh, share with us in today's program. Of course, you're familiar that the Word of God has many references to music. Um, I, I love Psalm 150, and I want to share it with you. I'm using the NIV um, version of the Bible. Praise the Lord, it says. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the string and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with the resounding cymbals. Let everything, I like that, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And this is not only relevant in a church setting, but surely the home is the first place of worship as we said last week. And uh, we trust that as we share today, that you will be able to see some of these practical things applying and learn from what we will share. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this um, possibility, the possibilities presented is even as we talk about music and its impact on the family. Music truly is a beautiful gift. Indeed, you have given to mankind, we pray, God, that as we look at it, as it relates to the family, that our lives will be enriched, our families will be enriched as a result. Amen. Well, I have today with me, as usual, my co-host, Reverend Anderson Kelman. Reverend Kelman. Good afternoon. All right. And I have a musician uh, of many years, Valis Jimmett. Valis Dimon is the manager of Notes and Praise uh, Music School. And when we come back, we will hear much more about him and his school. And uh, indeed, as we proceed, music and the family. We'll be back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum. Shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, it's going to be back with you for this very interesting and I'm sure intriguing program as we look and evaluate the impact of music on the family and we want to welcome uh, brother Valis Jamet from Notes of Praise to share with us some thoughts uh, based on his experience. 
Okay, let me just give you a little history of No Surprise. Um, we started 18 years ago, and at that point, I was a part of transition in my life. And it was an incident that threw my whole life upside down. And it was deciding what I was going to do. I was more or less in accounting. I was looking to see if I would go that way or looking at music. And I came to the decision that God was leading me towards starting notes of praise. So I started notes of praise in the Nazarene Tabernacle, actually with 10 students mm -hmm. here. And one thing about that, they will say the decision is that the importance of prayer, because I had a whole district of persons praying for me and counseling. I, I, I will say I want to thank Reverend Kelman because he's one of the persons who helped counsel me during that time. I would say my, my lowest point, and I just want to thank him for helping me. And I would say that part of Notes of Praise is because of him, because he guided me through that session. And started Notes of Praise, and we, we had keyboard classes, and then we added additional instruments, um, drums, steel pan, voice. And not only necessarily within the Nazarene churches, but all throughout different churches. And one of the things about music and the family is that you see that it really helps person develop. Um, it reduces stress because we have some adults who, um, after a stressful day at work, also they play the instrument, whether it's guitar, piano, and it relieves their stress. Mm -hmm. And also, it helps with family connections. Because I have an incident, I remember one incident with one of my students, they play the keyboard. They didn't used to go to church much. They played the keyboard and they were playing Give Thanks. And their mother came, came down and sang with him when he was playing. And that was almost like that unique bond between them while she was singing and he was playing. And that is the connection that music has within the family. And also it helps children develop their creativity. It uses every part of their brain. So they are generally almost even smarter. They get more difficult sums understand, understood quicker. So music helps you every area of your life and it really impacts your family because it encourages, it brings families together. And that's something that I see a lot when families play together and that, that encourages them to even go further in their musical journey. All right. Well, sure you've said a mouthful. Um, what you've said very much concurs with um, presentation I saw in the publication called Music Together Worldwide, which says that music stimulates social, physical, cognitive, and emotional development and promotes language, concentration skills, confidence, and self-esteem um, among children. So you, you know, you're hitting the nail on the head, so to speak. If I may, if I may jump in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Farley, I think that um, uh, Brother Jemma uh, spoke to the whole element of, of time spent together, mm -hmm. you know, and um, it, it does create that kind of cohesion, you know, where families around music, you know, mm. um, <laughs> spend time uh, together. But you also mentioned the issue of relaxation. And one of the things that I teach, you know, all the time in terms of, of stress management, um, is the whole idea of music and the impact it has on the mind and, and, the, and the relaxing effect. You know, music can soothe, music can, can get you off to sleep, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's such a powerful force um, for good. And so I, I'm glad um, that, that uh, in his own experience, he has basically uh, referred to those two very critical elements. Yeah, very true. I would jump in on one, one thing about that there. Uh, one of the most precious moments I had with my father was when he was sick and I played to him. Whoa. And it was, I played for about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And at that point, he wasn't totally aware of everything, mm -hmm. but he, you could see that he really appreciated it. And that is, yeah, and that was, is one of my fondest memories of yes. him. Yes. Me 
playing him. He did so much for me, and this is the time for me literally to give back to him and play for him. Yeah. Very, very good. <laughs> well, um, Junior, well, we call you Junior sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Persons that know me call yeah. me Junior, so that's no problem. Right. I know you have been very um, active, as you said, in school for 18 years, and therefore during that period you have seen a number of persons and maybe you can say families coming to you for um, tuition mm -hmm. and um, well we, we are going to feature one of those families yeah I should say the head of a family <laughs> and I, I'm sure he'll be able to share with us so when we when we come back listeners and viewers we are going to speak to uh, one such person who whose family members of the family or children would have attended notes of praise and we hear from him um, how the children have been impacted, how the home and the family has been impacted. So back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We have uh, today with us uh, Mr. Sean Griffith, and his family has been a part of the uh, Notes of Praise um, to, to the ship. And he will share with us at this time how that was impacted on and the family, and any other important uh, information for us. So, so Sean, over to you. Okay, thanks for having me, gentlemen. Um, my, I would say my name is Sean Griffith, and my family has been involved with notes of praise, not directly from inception, but pretty much soon after, from the time my first boy was around three years old with the where they have the King's Kids Music, where they introduce the little ones to the whole concept of music. They would not have chosen an instrument as such as yet, but just an introduction. And my first son, David, he was involved from the time he was around three years old. So he's the one that started the family on the whole musical journey with no surprise. How old is he now? Um, he is going to be 20 oh, wow. in June. Um, he doesn't play as much as he used to. But, but he was the trigger. He was the trigger. His <laughs> instrument was keyboard. 17 years. Yes, <laughs> and then all my other three children followed right after once they got to the age of three. Different instrument? Yeah, um, so, so the second boy, Daniel, he started on drums. So he still drums, but in re more recent years, he has branched into the keyboards okay. as well. So he plays both drum and keyboards. Mm -hmm. Then my daughter, she came on board and she gravitated towards the steel pan. What's her name? Dara. Right. And the last boy, Dashawn, it was a bit of a fight to get him involved in music. He <laughs> showed no real interest. <laughs> but then he showed an affinity for the drums. So. Mm -hmm. He drums, so I technically have two keyboardists, two drummers, a steel panist, and then my wife, she got involved in music theory, oh. <laughs> and she studied, my wife Cheryl, she studied up to grade five. All this time, I had an interest in music. I acted uh, when the children had to choose songs for Christmas production. I was the music director, the <laughs> one that would choose the song, the <laughs> one that would direct them in how it should be played. But I had no musical instrument. <laughs> Until I kept saying I would love to play the guitar, but never had the, the boldness to venture into it till I guess they decided to turn to hear me speak. And they bought me a guitar in 2017 Christmas. That was interesting. And I started my had first no yes, I started my first lesson in April 2018. Mm -hmm. 
So now I have joined the musical fa part of the musical family there now. I play guitar and I must say it has been a joy be actually being able to play with the children. Yeah. So now we have actually performed at church yeah. as a group, family. as a family. Mm -hmm. My wife, because she doesn't play instrument, she is more into dance. Mm -hmm. So we actually had one song last year where around Independence, mm -hmm. where we did uh, a John Yard song. Mm -hmm. um, you always get messed up with the actual title of it. Most people know, know it as Echo, uh, no, Dance with the Savior and all of that. And we all played and Actually, my yeah. wife danced. Interesting. Yes. So they had the whole family. Uh, no, interesting. No, 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 it's interesting because, because it went the other way. The children started first yeah. and the parents played after. Yes. Yep. Right? Yeah. No, it goes the other way. No, the yeah. parents are the ones the music and then yeah. they just Yes, you along, yes, but, yes. but it was it's a, a reversal. Yes. Yep. Um, yeah, but all, all good though, all good. All yes. Good. And, and I find that the boys like I gravitate to the drums. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your son plays drums as well. Yeah, both sons. Yeah. Yeah, both sons yeah. have, have, have yeah. gone to mm -hmm. uh, lots of praise and they both yeah. play the drums. The younger boy, uh, he plays he plays very well, but mm -hmm. just that I guess the opportunity at church has not yet arisen yeah. uh, for him to play play there. Uh, mm -hmm. But yes, both boys. And I think it helps and I think I want you to kind of comment on, <coughs> on this though. How does it build concentration though yeah. and, and focus? Discipline. You know, and discipline. What, what are your thoughts about that? It does. Um, I mean, sometimes my, my children, sometimes they can lose focus. But what I would say about having that musical training, one for sure they have developed an ear, especially the second boy. He, he picks up notes from hearing them. Mm -hmm. He can tell you the key that is in and, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, my first boy that kind of drifted away, he would have had his challenges academically. Thank God he has settled down a lot more mm -hmm. as he has gotten older. But the thing I found with him, you can give him a keyboard having not played for a while. And the next minute you're hearing him playing as though he has been playing all along. He has not forgotten. A little rusty, but he has not... F the for gift is there. Yeah, the gift is, is there. Keep trying to encourage him to really start back mm -hmm. with it because he has the talent. But I believe it has helped with their schooling in terms of their discipline. It has helped in terms of forging relationships mm -hmm. across not only school, but at Notes of Prayers where it has allowed them to meet different people and from being able to play out at different functions mm -hmm. you find that their circle of people that they know mm -hmm. has certainly grown widened. yeah has widened mm -hmm. yes so it, it has helped I would say quite a bit. Yeah. So you're talking about developing interpersonal relationships? Yes, interpersonal mm -hmm. and I believe it still has some level of discipline mm -hmm. that has been involved being a part of the music because it does their effort to learn a song. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I, I, I don't even talk about church in the whole world, but uh, our next program. But I, I think also um, for either it gives a, a measure of confidence as well. Yeah. Yeah. It builds confidence you not know, to go in front of a mm -hmm. of a crowd and perform a yeah. song. You know, mm -hmm. um, it gives you that element of being able to. To feel at home on the yeah. stage, so yeah. as to speak. Right, so you're, what you're saying then, the, the exposure at home kind of helps them when yes. they go to the church right. to be and, more and, confident. Right. And, 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 so, and, so there's a linkage there. Yes, and, and it builds you for, for life, though, yes. because, yeah. because we know that one of the um, um, critical elements in, in success is one's ability to be able to, to, to articulate and to stand before, before a group. Mm -hmm. and, and they think that the, the, the early musical training and experience at home and as uh, well. But we we'll, we'll have to facilitate that as yeah. well too. Yeah. I think another point that was mentioned just now. I suppose in your case, you can say then it's intergenerational. So you have the older one, mm -hmm. and you have the younger ones, progressively. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing about music. Mm -hmm. it, it, it connects generations, it builds bridges, right. even within a family. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes it has. Yeah. Um, it, I would say not being able to be a part of them mm -hmm musically mm -hmm. it has added something mm -hmm. I mean to for me to be able to say especially to a second boy 
Daniel come let us jam. Yes. And we pick a song, he yes. pulls out his keyboard and yes. we start to yes. To so play and, and wow. yeah, it, it, it's a bond in there. It's a bond, yeah. and we have had um, in more recent times where myself, Daniel, and Dara have performed at home yes. and recorded it. Okay, um, sent it out to some close friends and family. Yeah, and it was a joy to be able to perform mm -hmm. with them with my wife recording. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can see a broad smile across your face. Yeah. So you're not just talking, but you can see how it's impacted you. Yes, yeah. The sense of satisfaction. Yes. And so on. And you mentioned uh, this whole um, the corona issue, the, the lockdown. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, I can see. They have a family concert. A family concert, yeah. you know. Yes. That has been a challenge for the drummers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it brought out an innovative streak, especially in the youngest one, Dashawn, because. Initially, they were not going into lessons which were being done via Zoom because they had no drum set. So how are we going to do this thing? After, I would say, it's like a jeweling slash crawling, Dashawn took the initiative and went downstairs and set up with some buckets, uh, a kind of a flat tray like thing that we have that we open on the table. It's really supposed to be a decorative, but it became a symbol. <laughs> <laughs> and he set up an entire drum set from buckets and symbols. Great. Took his tablet downstairs, hooked up to the internet, and was able to do his drum lessons. So now, whenever there's lessons, both him and Daniel go downstairs mm -hmm. and play on this dr improvised drum set that he set up. Yeah, and it sounds like a real one when you hear it from upstairs. Creativity. That creativity yeah, came out. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Well, I know that we can chat for the entire yes. uh, <laughs> evening. I, I can see the, 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 the joy and the, the spirit coming out of you. Yes. So, so what you're saying is not just words. No, it's not. But I want to thank you, though. Thank you for having me. Sharing. And I know that um, we, we will have perhaps uh, an experience of seeing a video um, in, in, in this program later. Yes. Where, where, where it is a, a presentation. Thank you very much. You're Listeners, welcome. Listeners, we'll be back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed.
welcome you back. We want to say thanks to Sean and his family for that wonderful rendition. And uh, I do trust that it would challenge you to even begin to explore your own musical ability as a, as a family. We have um, Valencia's back with us. Uh, he's going to show us a, little, a quick thought, and then we'll um, close our program for the day. Right. And as we had emphasized the importance of music in the family, and music draw music enhances everything. That's one thing. Music is a great enhancer. So if you're feeling sad and someone plays a up tempo song or song that you love, you get you get that energy, you feel relieved, you enjoy. And music in the family persons playing is one of those unique things of doing things together. And I remember when even like the first time I played with my son. It was a joy, and I it totally enjoyed. so that's almost a unique bond that you don't get from many other things, and that's one of those things that encourage families, especially now that in we're more or less COVID. restricted COVID in what we can yeah. can do. Also, we have to entertain ourselves within the family, so I encourage persons that can play musical instruments. Enjoy music within your family. Have a little family concert. Have some somebody sing. Somebody play the guitar. Do things within your family to bond to bond that that relationship. You know, you know, but probably you, you may not even know, but um, in my in my younger days, I played the euphonium. Oh right, <laughs> uh, it's orchestra. You know, um, and, and maybe this is uh, a challenge for me to go and buy one and start playing. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, but I had I, I love friendship with the keyboard. <laughs> kind of so, so phrase <laughs> like, 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 funny enough, I, I, I remember doing, before I met her, I used to go to lessons, right? And I, I promised the guy who was my tutor, I'm not going to stop. But I somehow, after I met my wife, I know, my, my head kind of turned. <laughs> Like, like different, I don't know about different music. Oh, oh, oh. oh different music, different yeah. music. But, 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 listeners, I'm not saying to you to, to do that. No. <laughs> but, but, but maybe, maybe though, this would be great for someone uh, or, or someone's yeah. um, to, to reconsider the place of music in their family. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we'd be very clear that it, it bonds, it, it pulls persons together. Very powerful. Uh, we also recognize that it helps through the sequence mm -hmm. and therefore mm -hmm. it is learning and academic ability mm -hmm. and of course it creates I mean great opportunity for exposure yeah. you mm -hmm. know so they can build their confidence mm -hmm. and feel stronger mm -hmm. uh, in themselves you know which augurs well mm -hmm. um, for them in, in later in later years so I think there is a, a phenomenal place for music mm -hmm. in our family want to say thanks to um, to, to, to brother brother junior brother Bavis, yeah. um, <laughs> as well yeah. as um, brother Sean yeah. uh, for their wonderful insight in this um, evening's program. Yes, and thank you for bless many lives, and we thank you for that response. That assume that responsibility. You're most welcome. Shall we pray, Father? We give you thanks today for for notes of praise, and Father for the work that uh, they're doing across the landscape of our nation. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of music. And I pray, God, even now that as we continue, Lord, to allow it to become uh, a meaningful part of our lives, that we will reap, Lord, the wonderful fruit and fruits, Lord, of having music be the part of our family. We give you thanks this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bless you, viewers. Let the music play. <laughs>